What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a video on my new wash buckets. I'm just showing you what they look like. I'll eventually do um, during wash um, video where you can see them in action live on the big screen. Big in action performance, you know. But I just wanted to give you a quick show of what I had. I got this from Detail Division. I'll leave a link down below for his uh, website. Very cool. They are pricey, so you're gonna have to get over that. But if you are like me and you like things that are a little bit different, a little bit unique, then this might be something for you. So these are called ghost buckets. They're very much clear. Um, it did take me a second to get over having a handle instead of the flip, but then I realized the flip handle kind of always annoyed me because if I ever wanted to not have it here, I had to flip it to see on the back. It was just like a little OCD thing. I'm not really moving these once they're filled with water, and if I am, I'm not weak. I can lift these up. Uh, they're four and a half gallon buckets, which I kind of personally like more than the five gallon buckets. I did a video on the Chemical Guys buckets that I just got, and then I found these afterward, but these are gonna be the new setup. This is everything I got. Um, this came, this is from Carbon Collective, so this is like a little bucket caddy on the side. These bushes I didn't get uh, from them, but this is why I just wanna demonstrate. You can put up to four brushes if you wanna clean lug nuts, brake calipers, uh, fine detailed intricate work. You can have it on here instead of it getting lost inside here or worse yet, in the bucket. Um, it's just a, a cool little thing. I like it and it goes well with the whole color theme here. Um, these are dirt locks and um, I really like it. I really like it. You, to get them out, by the way, I didn't realize it says grip. You gotta stick your finger in here like you're bowling and pull and it's got like little rubberized feet that keep it locked in there, which it's a pretty tight snug fit. Another thing on the bottom, it's definitely got like a little texture down here to help it not not slide as much if it's on a certain surface. So I kind of like that. Also, uh, I know I'm setting myself up for potential failure by having a clear bucket, but it did get shipped and had a tiny little scuff. Well, actually more than a tiny little scuff. There was a huge mark here. And apparently um, the guy at Detail Division, who, by the way, writes you hand written notes, takes the time to actually interact with the customers. Very, very cool dude. He told me just take an orange sponge with some Sonax Perfect Finish. I did that and it took out pretty much just about everything and looks awesome. So at least I know if there are little scuffs here and there, which are inevitable washing um, and using these on a daily basis with, well, not even this daily basis, a weekly basis, whatever. Um, it's inevitable, but it's something that can be fixed. Like little scuffs here and there. You know, they're, they're gonna get polished up. Uh, but I just wanted to get on here and show you. This is also kind of cool. This is from Carbon Collective. Goes in your window. Anytime you're maybe at the dealership for service or something, you want to put it in there. It's just so that you know you don't want those dealer installed beautiful swirl marks or worse yet, rids. Um, random isolated deeper scratches. You know, let's start getting into the vocabulary. You don't want that, so you want to just um, have preparation here. I like just like all the other bucket guards that I had. It's got uh, little holes on the bottom. Um, this is what I did have. This is the Bucketizer. So this is my actual wash bucket. And I am retiring my OG buckets, the white ones. So I'm gonna have a combination. That's gonna be my wash and rinse bucket and I'm probably gonna use one of these to uh, replace that bucket because they're just shorter. They're shorter, it's a much more desirable look um, and better for me. I never ever filled my bucket up to five gallons. I would say at most I use three to four gallons of water in my bucket. I go through and I handle the business and if I ever need more water, I could always refill. So five gallons is very excessive. I don't think it's a necessity. I think the buckets are just too tall. It's just too much weight. I would never fill it up to five gallons. I don't know anybody that's ever filled it up to five gallons. If you have filled it up to five gallons, please leave a comment down below because I would honestly be freaking shocked. So this is what we got. I just wanted to show you guys. I think they're freaking awesome. Um, obviously you gotta get over the fact that these handles exist. This looks good. I, I like it. 
it's gonna look cool on top of my setup. I'm gonna see, I'm actually really curious. This thing's been through hell and back, by the way, but don't judge me. Um, curious if it would have, no, that would be, uh, that would be too easy. Uh, I'm gonna see if they make a lid that would go over this. I'll potentially find something. Uh, just to put it over the top while I'm not having the buckets in use. That'll probably be my only thing that I want to do, but my four and a half gallon Chemical Guys buckets will be able to work with my Gamma Seal lids. So I'm gonna contact him and ask him if they do make any bucket tops. They probably do on his website and I just missed it, so I'm gonna have to place another order. So while I'm not using that setup, I could just put a lid on this and I can put this down and basically have this for more things if I want to stack something up on laundry I'm doing laundry cleaning my microfibers or something anyway typical long-winded video this is what we got I'm gonna do a video eventually of um, the next wash process what I really like about these and you know I should have mentioned this in the beginning but you know like always I'm all over the goddamn place you get to see the dirt underneath I can see what's going on I can see the shampoo, some of them are colored for a reason. They're fancy, you know, but you don't get to see that in a bucket. You get to see looking top down and all you see is friggin' suds and these sudsy bubbles. And you don't get to see the colors. You get to see all kinds of crap swirling. What if there is something swirling inside that can make swirling on that? And you don't want that. So you'll get to have more of a look. It's uh, more aesthetically pleasing to watch uh, during the process of washing. If anything, that's enough for me because this whole washing process is supposed to be therapeutic and fun and that's why I do it and that's why I love it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the support. I hope everybody's staying happy, healthy, and humble. I'll see you guys on the next one.